What is up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. So Apple just released watchOS 10.2 RC. We thought this might be coming next week thanks to these higher level builds and going through four betas already and it is indeed here. We're going to make this video short and sweet for you guys today and go over some of the new and we'll quote features here um, like swiping between the watch faces that they brought back in these latest betas. Take a look at the build number and all of that good stuff that we traditionally do. Should be a short, simple video for you guys today. If you're interested or on beta 3 or 4, you can now download the RC. And the public beta should be available probably later today or tomorrow. And the public release for everybody should be around December 10th, usually next Monday or something like that. At which time, the next day, we might even get our first beta for 17.3. That should be interesting as well. 10.2 was not a large update. 17.2 for iOS definitely had a lot of more features that we didn't expect. So let's go ahead, jump into this and see what we find. So as you guys can see here, we have the new watch OS 10.2 RC build on the actual watch and we are good to go. Now, a couple of callouts before we jump into the watch. I want to show you what the actually release notes were on Apple's own update page. And you can see here, this includes improvements and bug fixes, access and health log app data with Siri, and that is only available on the new Apple Watch Series 9 and Ultra 2. Automatically view now playing when you're in the proximity of HomePod, again, the latest one, the second generation, or HomePod Mini. Playing media from music or podcasts, again, available on Apple Watch Series 6 and later, and Apple Watch Ultra. Enable the ability to swipe and change watch faces and settings. If you guys follow the channel, you know that is one of our happy latest additions that they brought back. Enable the ability to confirm ending workouts and settings. Prioritize the volume of either the music or trainer's voice in most Fitness Plus workouts. And then resolves an issue that can cause watch faces added to the Apple or to the watch app on iPhone to not appear on Apple Watch. Those are all of the release notes for this latest build. Again, provided everything actually goes as it should, this should be the latest and last update for 10.2 before it goes public. So let's take a look and jump right into settings and see what the build number is and then go over some of the features I know you guys are going to be very excited about. So settings, general, about, version, as you can see here, there is no letter behind it. Purely numerical with that one letter built in, not at the end, signifying a final version. And that is 21S364. Definitely good to see. I had not a lot of issues with beta 4. Battery life was pretty solid. I had an issue, I believe it was my new charger, where it would not actually charge to the stated charge limit. It would kind of just cut off at 44, 45%. I believe it was just the charger I was using on my MagSafe dock. So that could just be the cause of that. I don't think it was unique to beta four, but just one call out nonetheless, hopefully that is resolved in here if that was something new. Aside from that too, let's go ahead and talk about the watch faces. Now you can actually swipe between them like you used to do traditionally. And this is a great welcome addition to be back. I don't know why I like changing my watch faces on the go. If I don't want the same one and get tired of it, it's kind of tedious to go in the app and make the changes or scroll through it and find it and change it that way. Being able to just swipe is a welcome change. If you guys are interested in implementing that in the actual settings menu, if you scroll down to clock, it is your first option there. As you can see, swipe to switch watch face. It is your first option. All you need to do is toggle that on like you traditionally would. Let's go ahead and put this on and discuss double tap again, which was one of the big additions in 10.2. In and I have had pretty good success rates with it. You can see now there's no smart stack, so it's not doing anything, but it is rendering a response. So if we go to a stack that we traditionally use like this one and double tap, you can see it is scrolling perfectly well. So that is good to see. It has been very, very smooth so far. And again, you can alternate your fingers if you don't want to use your pointer and thumb. They all work pretty well. 
Again, the battery on Beta 4 was pretty good as it is, so hopefully this will maintain in the RC build. I'm not expecting too many changes from that aspect, which is good to see. I will call out, though, also the name drop feature. So if you actually take your phone and just hover halfway over the watch, you can see how much smoother that is. Now, nothing's going to trigger, obviously. They're both linked to my account, but I just wanted to show you how well those do work also there was also in 10.2 iMessage contact verification um it's another good ad to have i don't plan on utilizing it too much it's more for well-known figures for security purposes and all that but it's good to see apple did implement something like that here as well beyond all that i gotta say 10.2 is not a massive change but it does have some welcome new features and hopefully improvements to bring battery life on par with what the older versions of the Apple Watch, especially the Apple Watch Ultra, does have. So yeah, quick, simple video for you guys today. Let me know in the comments if you're going to get it. Provided everything does work out well with this beta, I do just want to show you the calendar here. Obviously, we are on December 5th, as we anticipated getting this bill dropped. Next Monday, the 11th, I would anticipate having the full release to the general public, and possibly even on the 12th, our first 10.3 beta. We'll see. Who knows what Apple's going to choose to do, but even if they drop 10.3 beta 1, probably will be the only beta this year. Since we're so close to the holidays again, they're not going to drop another one, I don't think. Um, but yeah, for the most part, 10.2 RC is here. 10.2 final release to the public should be out on the 11th. Thanks for watching. We will catch you in the next one. Peace.